Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to the 172nd, I think, episode of Twisted Strands. My name is <coughs> JD, or you can call me Jeannie. I know Sock Bunny likes to call me JD. <laughs> Hi, Kimberly. I hope you still watch. Anyway, um, welcome to the show. It's going to be a shorty, and it's going to be shorty because it's late and I'm tired. <laughs> but that's nothing strange about that now, is there? So anyway, update on my arm. It is really hurting. I've taken to knitting on the loom. Hi, Cleo. You want to be in the show again? Oh, I shocked her on the ear. I feel so bad when I do that. I'm sorry, Cleo. Anyway, yes. <laughs> I'm doing fine, except my arm hurts a lot, so I'm probably going to go to the doctor tomorrow and get another shot, which I do not like. But if it makes me feel better as I abstain from knit knitting instead of loom knitting, which I'll show you in a second, it, it's worth it. So anyway, let me sh tell you what's on the show. Just so, one whip, one spinning thing, and two finished objects. Yes, I finished some things. I took up loom knitting. Let me show you my whip so you can see. When I decided I needed to take a break from knitting to help my arm feel better, and I hope it is, but it hasn't so far, but then again, the, I may need the medicine, the cortisone shot that the doc gives before it gets better, which is sad, but it happens, right? So I went to Michael's with a big coupon, and I purchased two sets of looms. They're loops and thread looms. So, this right now is my most longest running whip so far. It is a prayer shawl, and I'm knitting it on a circular loom, but it is a flat piece of fabric. That's the inside, so you can see it a little better. And this is what the correct side of the fabric is going to look like, sorry. <laughs> and... I'm making it with a skein of one of, <coughs> excuse me, one of the skeins of red heart yarn that a friend gave me called Earth and Sky. Boop. I don't know if you can read it. Cleo's being a weirdo. But anyway, I'm hoping to use up the entire skein and get at least a fifty-six to sixty inch shawl out of it. So that's what I'm working on. I'll probably be bringing that to knitting night tomorrow. So that's my whip for now. And I've got two hats that I loomed. This is my first hat that I loomed. And it really has a gorgeous stretch. I'm really happy with this loomed hat. And so is my dad. While it counts for stash dash, dad liked it so much, I gave it to him. So, not a cherry diet item, just a gift for my loving dad. So, that's out of Hometown by Lion Brand. Sorry, the cats are right in my field of vision, so I'm thinking if they get up to mischief, I'm going to yell. Sorry. But anyway, and this is the one I just finished just now. And this is a pretty gray and green and another shade of green. It's got three strands and it is for charity. And it's going to be... Oi! You quit it. Yeah, see, I told you. <laughs> so anyway, this is really... Oi! Say goodbye to the lovely hat. Hey! Knock it off. <laughs> Bet you never seen someone throw a phone before on a podcast. But anyway, it had to be done. Oh, 
So, anyway, I've also finally gotten back to spinning, and I feel mostly Cleo. Quit it, or I'll pick you up. But <laughs> I feel like I've kind of got my spinning mojo back. So, I've been working really hard. Well, for one day I worked really. Cleo! God, what is up your butt? Stop it! So, this is all I've got left of the wonderful Merino Nylon uh, Superwash Merino Nylon Blend Fiber that I bought from Fiber Optics. And this is wonderful stuff to spin. <laughs> and sooner or later you're going to see some corporate cuddling over here because that cat is being naughty. But anyway, look at this beautiful color. Isn't that fabulous? Or the fiber optic stuff. It's really well made and fun to use. So anyway, maybe next week I'm not making any promises. I'll finish up some yarn and that too will count for stash dash numbers. I'm trying to stay in at least second place. <laughs> I'm still there. I put about I've put almost 2,000 more onto my total in my 2030-something Stitch and Bitch group, the stash dash that they're doing there, so that's good. And I don't know if I ever really told you about this, but I had this private goal for stash dash of getting rid of this cone of yarn. And it's sport weight acrylic, so you know it's not an easy thing. But I've been doing a lot of weaving with it, and that that was the gray in the hat that you saw, and it used to be out to about here, so it was way bigger when I started. The beginning of this year, totally bigger cone of yarn. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to weave another prayer shawl. And when I do that, since I've got a 15 inch wide loom, and mostly you can only do about 14 inches width on it, I'm going to weave it in two sections. And when I'm done weaving it, I shall sew it together on my sewing machine. It works really well for the gray shawl that I've yet to donate because I keep forgetting to bring it to church. <sighs> oh me. But anyway, this time, this next weaving project that I'm going to do, it's going to be really fun. It's going to be this in some bright red broco. Remember that scarf I was doing? That's what I'm going to use as the weft. The warp is vertical and the weft is sideways. <laughs> Horizontal. <gasps> Duh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm still a noob at the loom knitting and I'm still a pretty much a noob on the weaving. So sometimes I don't make the right choices in yarn, but I've been pretty lucky so far. So. That, that makes me happy. Now, uh, I think I've discussed all the pertinent things that, that are happening right now. So, what I'm, let me see, stuff and junk. Let's get into that. Uh, other than chasing Cleo and stopping Cleo and Frisky from fighting, I've been dealing with yet more snow. Last night, no, yesterday, yesterday afternoon it started to come down and it wasn't a lot of snow. It was just an inconvenience really. And this morning I had to dig it out, which is no good for this poor old elbow of mine. And I think we're supposed to get more winter weather this week, so clear it, spring is not yet here. Now I'm reading, I finished something from the night side I think that's what it's called 
by Simon Green, and that was so much fun, I decided to keep reading it, and since a friend of mine, Leanne, hi, Leanne, if you watch, she gave me a couple of the novels, and one of them was the next of the series, so I picked that up and I've started to read it. Haven't gotten very far, just a chapter or two in. I'll take care of that for now. And, oh, uh, we went to Barnes & Noble yesterday, Sunday, and I bought a book about Supernatural, the, the C series, the TV series. So I bought a book there. And then we saw some bargain books that were really keen. One was 500 Writing Prompts, prompts which prompts you to write a particular scene or something to get your creative juices flowing. So he got that one, and I got the 500 Drawing Prompts. So I plan on drawing in pencil and colored pencil someday. Probably someday soon, because why the hell not? Because it seems like it would be fun to just draw something silly. Now Cleo's sort of behaving. She's standing right by the tree I bought her. Ready? I'm gonna be good. You know what sound she hates? <coughs> no? You're not gonna let me bother you today? Okay. Oh, and I, um, since I watched most of Doctor Who, except for the very last season with Peter Capaldi, I decided to start watching Torchwood. So that was fun. I, I, tonight I watched Torchwood, the first episode, and of course I latched onto it because it's right up my alley. So I'm in the middle, or sort of in the first quarter of the second episode, so I'm going to keep watching that, because I cannot res resist John Barrowman's face. He's that coat, that face, that smile, he's got, he's just too sexy. But anyway, when I find an actor I like, I tend to watch shows about with them in it. I'm not a stalker, I swear. So anyway, that's what I'm reading. That's what I've watched. I think that's a good episode, right? I've got about 12, 13 minutes. So how about this? I get to bed and you enjoy your day. And don't forget what I'm trying to focus on you, not the fucking screen, sorry. <laughs> anyway, don't forget, whenever you're crafting, you are making the world a more clear. No get off. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> whenever you're crafting, no matter whether it's simple or sublime, you are making the world a more beautiful place and for that I thank you I will see you or you will see me in another week and thank you so much for subscribing if you have and that's it for now everybody I hope you have a wonderful week and keep on crafting bye